ओके सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आर सेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम इन दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर सीरीज फ्रॉम पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी अप्रिल 2023 सेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फन वॉच देर वी गो एंड बाय द वे देर इज एन ऑप्शन इधर यू कैन गो फॉर प्रॉब्लम नंबर सेवन और प्रॉब्लम नंबर एट एस ए टीचर सिंस आई एम मेकिंग दी सोल्यूशन आई डोंट हैव एनी ऑप्शन ओके सो लेट मी गो फॉर प्रॉब्लम नंबर सेवन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट एंड दिस इज फॉर टेन मार्क्स and let me tell you very honestly you can crack this you can make the entire drawing in less than 20 minutes to be very very honest very very comfortably this is based on a hexagonal pyramid whereas the last problem is based on a pentagonal prism now given a choice you should go for problems which are based on the parallel line method because they're relatively easier than the radial method okay than the radial development should i say this uh in radial development you've got cone you've got pyramid whereas uh, in case of parallel line development you've got a prism and cylinder so they are relatively easier to construct okay all right let me read the question first so there happens to be a hexagonal pyramid of base 30 mm and axis 75 mm 30 75 remember resting on hp it is resting on hp with side of the base parallel to vp side of the base parallel to vp it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to the vp and inclined at 45 degree to the hp and also bisecting the axis of the pyramid draw the development of the lateral surface of the pyramid wonderful let me take you to the solution and here we go the first thing is there is a hexagonal pyramid the base is 30 mm where is the base sir this is the base how many sides are there Sir, there are as many as six sides. Why, sir? Because it is a hexagonal pyramid. That's the reason. Secondly, the axis height is seventy-five. Sir, where can we see the side? Here it is, right from the topmost point, that is the apex, to the center of the hexagon. This height is the axis height of the pyramid. You can say, or is the or uh, this may also be referred to as the axis length, right? That is seventy-five, and this over here is thirty. Where is it resting, sir? It is resting on HP. with its base on hp now you need to imagine if this is resting with its base on hp from where will you be able to see the true shape of the base from where you will you be able to see the true shape of the base that it can be seen from the top therefore you have to begin with the top view okay and in the top view you are going to obviously see the hexagon i will show you three different top views please please Select the option which is correct. One, two, and three. Which one would you choose, and which ones will you reject with proper justification? Sir, we've been asked uh, to make sure that the hexagonal pyramid is resting with its base on HP. Yes, with a side base side parallel to VP. If you watch carefully in this diagram, in option one. these two base sides they are actually parallel to the vertical plane okay since they are parallel to xy that's why they are parallel to vp that's the idea but sir in this case in option number 2 sir this is one of the base side is perpendicular to the xy line that means it is perpendicular to vp sir this also happens to be inclined this also happens to be inclined this is again perpendicular so rejecting we have to accept this the reason being very simple base has been kept parallel to vp and here there is some kind of inclination there is some kind of inclination with xy or with the vertical plane this is alpha this also has got to be alpha this also has got to be alpha and about as far as these are concerned uh, these and then uh, if you can extend this you can extend this i mean all of these edges they are making some angle with the xy line which means that they are making some angle with the vertical plane okay only the base edges only the base edges anyway so we are going to go with option number 1 this is how you need to start your diagram please remember all the sides of the base are 30 mm in dimension let's go for it start by creating a simple hexagon this way okay name these corners are 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 join 1 with 4 uh, 3 with 6 and 5 with 2 this is your apex or top view of the apex you can say Now let's take a look at this arrangement from the front. This is how it goes. And if this is one, this has got to be one dash. Two and six are on the same line, right? 
So we can call this two dash and also six dash. Let me write this bit properly. Then your axis length is 75 millimeters. So draw a line in the form of axis. Remember dash dot dash dot done. Connect these points to the apex. So what you have just done is this one O that is one dash O dash in front view, two O in top view, two dash O dash in front view this way. I hope this is clear to everyone. Okay. Secondly, we also have been given information regarding the section plane and the section plane is such. Let me give you a uh, section plane is such that it is perpendicular to the vertical plane, but at the same time, it is inclined to HP and the angle of inclination has been given as 45 degree. So let me just give you a brief idea as to how the section plane has been oriented. Okay. Now just take a look at this. Just a second. Okay. Now take a look at this. Mm, let's say this is the section plane with which we are going to cut this pyramid. Okay. Now, if I keep it like this, what is going to be your definition? So right now, as far as we can see, it is parallel to HP. But if we consider your face as the vertical plane, then it appears as if this is perpendicular to VP. Okay. Perpendicular to VP. Now, so it is still perpendicular to VP, but inclined at a certain angle to HP. This angle has been given to you. How much is this angle? Sir, that is 45 degrees. So when you guys are looking at this from the front, this is the edge view of the cutting plane, edge view of the section plane, whatever you may call it. Correct. Okay. So now you have to create a cutting plane or a section plane over here. And this section plane is such that it is bisecting this axis. So the axis length was 75. So this distance is going to be half of 75. That is 37.5 and 37.5 done. Okay. So this can be done very easily. Let me just give you one more example. You can keep your protractor over here. Keep it like this. Then at an angle of 45 degree, make a point, small dot, and then pass a line through it. Again, since this is a section plane, so there are certain rules that you guys need to follow. Take a careful look. The part of the cutting plane which comes inside the hollow solid, keep it headed, keep it, I mean, thin, and the part which is outside, keep it thick. Okay, there should be a clear cut difference between both. Okay, sir. So far, so good. Now, what? Now, if you watch this, there is only one slantage over here. Agreed, sir. So there is going to be one cutting point. This has got to be A dash. Sir, there are as many as two slantages over here. Name them, sir. One is O dash, two dash. While the other is O dash six dash. O2 is at the front and O6 is at the back. So there are going to be as many as two cutting points. One of them is going to be B dash, while the other is going to be C dash. So what we'll do is I'll simply write them down A dash. Okay. I've projected all of these points down below. Don't worry. This is A dash, B dash, C dash. A dash is here. Similarly, this is B dash, B. This is C dash, that's C. Similarly, this is D dash and E. So D is over here and that's E and that's F. Okay. Now you can join all of them, right? Please don't hatch this portion. You don't need that. Uh, what we're interested in is creating the development and development is created from the front view. Uh, there, I mean, uh, you just need to focus here on the front view only, right? Wherever the top view references is required, I'll let you know. Draw straight line from O dash. Let's say this point is O. Now you need to decide which slant edge over here is giving you the true length. Okay. The axis length has been given to you as 75. But do you have any information about the slant edges? No, sir. You need that information. How will you extract that information from this drawing? Let me tell you. Observe which slant edge 06 05 04 all of these are slant edges please observe which slant edge is parallel to xy sir o2 is inclined o3 is inclined o5 o6 all of them are out of the picture sir only o1 is parallel to xy and also o4 is also parallel to xy so if these two slant edges are parallel to xy indirectly 
I can say that they are parallel to vertical plane. Can I? Yes. Okay. So whenever you see a lines top view parallel, I mean, what are all of these? These are lines. If the top view of a line is parallel to the VP, that means its front view is going to show the true length. This is the true length. This also is the true length. Right? Now what you need to do is take a compass. Hmm? Round. Keep pencil leg at one dash. Steel end over here. Now with O as the center, cut an arc like this. Right? Now what to do? Listen to this. Once you've made the arc, the next thing to do is watch. Let's say this is one. Okay. Now, uh, <clears throat> how much is the distance between one and two, sir? Uh, it is thirty millimeters, right? So you can keep your compass also over here. Then with one as the center, you can cut an arc. This is going to be two. Similarly. The distance between 2 and 3 is again 30. So you can take 2 as the center, cut an arc again. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, and back to 1. Okay. Agreed? Now, 1 and 2, there is a straight line connecting 1 and 2. It's a straight edge. Okay. It's not like a cone. Then 2 and 3, again a straight line. Then 3 and 4, again a straight line. Join all of these points this way. Easy. Okay. Now, if you open a pyramid, what do you see? Sir, we can see uh, triangular faces. So here, this being a hexagonal pyramid, there are going to be as many as six triangular faces. So connect two with O, three with O, and so on. Can you see six triangular faces? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Done. Now the time has arrived to shift all of these points over to the development. This can be done very, very easily. Let me show this to you. Uh, take a look. <clears throat> question number one is a dash on the true length of the slant edge yes why because this is because the top view is parallel to xy okay so since o dash one dash being a true length you can directly take this measurement okay you can directly take this distance uh, as radius in your compass and then with O as the center you can cut an arc since this is O dash 1 dash and this point is A dash so you can cut an arc over here and here this is going to give you point A done now these two points B and C these two points D and E they don't happen to be lying on the true length so what you will do is you are going to shift them over to this side let's call them B 1 dash also C 1 dash now take this much as the radius in your compass where are these two points sir one is on two and the other is on six so cut two arcs along o2 and along o6 so you've got b and c simple now shift this over to this side okay here we go this way with os center cut these two arcs done okay and finally, you've got this point F dash, sir. This already is on the true length. You don't have to worry about this. So with this much as the radius and with OS center cut an arc, that's going to give you point F. And now join all of these points in proper sequence. And uh, what you have, what you have is a beautiful development. And I know that uh, if you create this drawing, this will not suffice uh, to give you full marks. What you need to do is, you need to make sure that your pencil work is very light like this okay and wherever the development is that has to be kept up this is how you need to approach it and also the dimensions are missing missing and let me put the dimensions in this fashion one dimension which i forgot was this one there was no direct information but it was given in the question that the cutting plane is going to bisect the axis into two parts okay so this has to be given as 37.5 done and yeah, we are pretty much done since this is a hollow solid. The actual diagram would look something like this. This is in color. You don't have to do this. This is uh, just my own curiosity. This is how it would look. No need to do the hatching over here. Okay, since this is a hollow solid. Kokla hai andar se. There's nothing inside it. Okay, only the faces. Right? This is ex exactly how you need to approach such questions on development. I hope this has given you a lot of insights.